If God be with us, you may be seated. Thank you. Hallelujah. I, I score a point today. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, I score a point. But you should get behind me and uh, the result will be huge. Mm, yes. God is about to do wonderful things in your life today. Hallelujah. You have it on the table. Viewers, thank you. Have your on the table by faith. I know it's on your table by faith. Hallelujah. Um, I, I know the message we received from the wise men is so wonderful and uh, your faith is lifted up and I know you are linked up with God I know you are there thank you hallelujah so I think that message can still continue to give us a push a push 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 um, where you know we have a lot a lot of blessing today so this is the, the new anointed water. And uh, the stick as well. This, this is what we were looking forward to since it's two years now. We have been on the, on the, the the former one, you know, every year, you know what the Lord normally do in the, this ministry. Wow. Please, Hallelujah. So every year, you know what the Lord normally do in the ministry here. Yeah. So this is this one we were expecting since two years ago, but God's time is the best. Because the challenges, the modern challenges, is so great that uh, different things, look at the confession, the trouble, situation before everyone. I mean, we are in, this, in a generation without faith, without hope. What, what else? When there is no hope, there is no faith. So I think God has given us uh, this, 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 then I it's now depend on how we manage it. From my own side, I will do every everything the Lord asked me to do about this. To, ma to manage, to maintain this. Maintainer is the most important now. He has given us to maintain the blessing. Because if you are not maintaining it, it will soon become ordinary water. How do we maintain it? Because the whole thing, the way it comes is so, so wonderful now. So wonderful. But if the ministers of God, hey, hey, if the ministers of God, the prophet himself, does not maintain it, the thing becoming, the, the, the grace becoming reduced. The grace the grace just in the same way in the same way you if you don't know what it is and they give you you may not enjoy the potential you will receive it you will minister it just, you it will become just water you just need what to know what what is here is what what is here if you know what is here you know it will, it will i mean you enjoy the grace so if the ministers of God does not maintain this and the Lord give you something, have it, give it to your people. And uh, if anything happens, I mean, how does God ask you to give it? 
in what way you are to do that exactly. So if not, the grace will reduce drastically and later turn to ordinary water. I want to let me tell you, let me let me inform you something. The the this the anointing water you have now it was battle. I pray every day. Ask God because of our 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 our, our own belief. But this one, the promise on this is so great. So I will be very happy if the Lord gave us the grace to minister it to one or two people and let us see what is what is exactly is inside. Uh, and this sticker too. And this. So thank you. Don't let us waste our time on this. Because it's yours. You, are take, you may not take it today, next week, but one day you will take it. It's already it's around. It has landed from above. You know, there was a time we were looking forward to receiving. it. Now we have received it. It's right with me, but I'm just praying, asking for instruction on how to give it, asking for instruction on how to maintain it. You, you quite understand what I'm talking about. You know, when you are given a, a new brown car, you need instruction how to drive it, what the maintainer, how to go about it. So this is exactly what is with me here. So you may not receive it today. You may not receive it next week. Well, I don't want to say another week. But I'm still battling to ask God for instruction. You know, I told you last time that when this anointing water come, because I was just trying to do everything to, to I mean, you sometimes you're crying to God, God, give me, give me. God said, I will give you. I said, God, if you give me, I'll just give it to them free, 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 free. No, I was just trying to do everything just to. It still remain. Just still remain. When God says it is time today, don't be surprised if I start giving you free to take home. Because we need at least some weeks to establish what is here. And to establish what is here, it must go, it must touch all, every hand. Both privileged and less privileged. Privileged and what? So, must have testimony to give. So whatever it costs to package it, to do the sticker, to do the case, whatever, the case, the package, everything, I personally on my own, I will bear it to make sure everyone, for some ways, if you have this, you can, this one, you can, you can keep it for another two to three months. It's only because we don't have faith. That is why we drink it like water. It's not water. You just need a torch. And if it is a torch, this one is, is enough for a, a country. Just one is enough for your country. If it does a torch, this one is enough for your country for one year. But your case is, in my present, people will open their mouth and finish it. There was a woman that asked I have been diagnosed uh, cancer. I said, okay, have this anointing water, you, you are free. He said, eh? before I turn back, I'm just, I, I dropped the bottle in my front. <laughs> I said, what happened? Why do you drop the bottle? He said, I'll finish it. <laughs> and after finishing, started using her to check where the cancer is. You know, started doing it in my person again. I said, what are you checking? He said, I want to see whether the cancer is still there. So that's it. That is human being for you. So I think uh, just one, I want it to touch the hands of grassroots. Grassroots. Mm. 
at, at least grassroots must have hand, must have have it. Just one is enough for you, grassroots, to, to be to be there. If you are not there and you have this one, it's enough, you will be there. So you will have plenty. Next time even they ask you to, to bring just one dollar, you will have plenty to get another one. This one will get you more abundant to get another. So, and when it, it is time to give, you don't need more than one. One family, one. And you'll be given free, 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 free. And this one too, it will be free, free, free. This one, this one too, it will be free, free, free. Don't let the issue of free, don't be afraid of free, free, free. I've, I've told you the reason. I want you to touch every, if you want to support me, you feel, man of God, you spend money to make park and all that, you can support me on your own. I will not ask you, for one trillion. Voluntarily, like I'm saying it now, I will not repeat it again. I will not come back and say, hey, please support me, mm, it's wrong. Voluntarily, I've said it now, I will not repeat it, the issue of voluntary. So, because you may be afraid that I'm free, free, this thing free. Yes, because I'm looking at how can this thing, how can everyone, the grassroots, less privileged, privileged, I want everyone to come back and give testimony. Let so if this if this one is if this is run for two weeks three weeks free free i know it will go run everywhere so people will come back it is that testimony i can now ask god that god now what next free free first week free 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 next So, because it's different from the former one. The former one is a child. This is father. Do you, know, do you know the reason why I'm trying to do this free, free, free? Because I want that grace to continue to, I want to maintain the grace. It is the grace of God that given to all free. Free I was given and free I should also give. So, it is just the pack and paper which you know we're trying to do it so that the the common will not copy the carton and everything we do it far 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 and the stamp and everything on it so but like i have said if god put in your heart to support if your supporting is going by complaining, you are not going to receive reward. Such a support should come with a, a, a joyful heart. You know heart. You'll be happy to say, oh, I'm happy to give it. Oh, I'm giving it. I'm happy now. You receive reward. But you say, eh, I'm giving this so that, God, you can bless me. Don't give such a gift to Tibi Joshua. Giving God, bargain with God, and telling God, I'm giving this now. Please bless me, God. I want to give this. Please bless my business. I don't want that kind of gifts. Because God is richer than your dream. Everything you have comes from Him. And everything you are going to have in future will come from Him. So it's something you should give. If what you have come from God, you should go to God. Eh? If what I have come from God, you also... It's only when you, what you have is not from God, well, you can go somewhere. But if what you have from God, you should go to God. So thank you. Like I have said once again, we don't want to take much of our time. So this... In order to make it go through 
And I don't want anyone to begin to have any complaint by first week, second week, third week, I know. God must have uh, touched the real people we want to touch because the gap between poor and rich is too... And uh, there's, no, it's, there's nothing bad about gap, but this gap is too much. It's too much. This is what is affecting the whole world today. Gap between rich and poor is so what? And it's affecting the whole world. This is the cause of trouble we have today. Democracy cannot work in a place where the gap is so wide. This democracy you talk about is difficult to work in a place where the gap between rich and poor so much. You can't practice democracy. El hombre de Dios está hablando del nuevo algo de unción, la etiqueta de unción, que será completamente gratis porque libremente hemos recibido, libremente damos. Se llama la sangre de Jesús. El hombre de Dios viene a presentar la nueva unción, y si el nuevo booklet es por la unción, que será muy pronto disponible, a decir que es el Fils, antes que vos aviez, hoy es el Père, y la unción es mucho más grande. And uh, I will be very glad, I will put it on the Manet TV, any hospital all over the world that demand on my own, I will send. 20 package of it to the hospital. Mm. To the hospital, the formation center, those drug addicts where they, they keep them, to reform them, those places, 20, 20, 20, depend on the big, the size of the, the organization. We we'll register 20, 20, 20, 20, send it all over the world. I will be very glad to do that. So we put it on a manner TV. So, and, and this will run for good two to three weeks. This, give, give, give to Rush, I think. You have it? So thank you very much. Hallelujah. Remember the, the, the breakthrough we have today, time. So let's, let's see one or two testimony we we want to listen to before we go straight, because I have some of visitors I want to attend to. After the meeting, that is why I have to quickly put everything together. So let's listen to the testimony. So what happened last week? What happened yesterday? Let's let's hear from them. Just one or two. Maintenant, passer la section des témoignages. Ce qui s'est passé la semaine dernière. Regardez votre écran pour voir la vidéo du cas. Vamos a ver la ventaja para ver lo que Dios está haciendo. El video de la profecía. Let us watch the screen and see how the prophecy came. Come, you have a spiritual husband. It's true. Eh? It's true. And it's a giant man. It's true. It has destroyed your home, your marriage. It's true, it's true. I've been married for eight years now, no child. Don't worry. Come on. It's your wife. Yes. It has resorted to the local spam. Yes, yes, my Because there's a medical report. Yes, man of God. Yes. Okay, so the ground wait for me. You listen to that? Just straight forward. If you know my God, if you know my God, heaven and earth. You will not allow me to spend more than one minute in a congregation, one second is enough. Because I will go straight. Out of ten messages I have for you, one will link them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, I will mention one that will link all the ten together. And I will touch you. And I will not mention anyone that will, will not actually help the matter we are the, the looking, I mean, get all the solution we are talking about. Just one, and it's gone. Look at that woman. There are many things to talk about. Threats. Spiritual husband, this is what is worrying you at home. This is the problem you are facing. This is the challenge. And immediately I say, in the name of Jesus, you see the woman. You see the way he vibrating. So when I'm seeing you, I talk to you, and I hold you. 
that solution has come before and after has come. Let's listen to her. Let's listen to her. Emmanuel. People of God, Emmanuel. My name is Pastor Mrs. Marianne Charles. The man standing beside me is my husband, Pastor Charles Anuma. Last okay. Sunday. Okay, you are a pastor, your husband is a pastor. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Last Sunday, the man of God walked up to me and told me that I have a spiritual husband and he's a very giant man. I confirm this to be very true. He said it has destroyed my home. Nothing is working, and I said it's true because he even said this has given my husband low sperm count. And this spiritual husband emerged when I got married eight years ago. He comes to sleep with me. Each time he sleeps with me in the dream, I wake up. People hate me. Things walk upside down for me. Even I was working in the bank, I had to abandon my two jobs. I behave abnormal. I don't respect my husband. I was so arrogant. To me, nope, everybody was like an aunt. This spiritual husband has really destroyed my home. But I thank God that last Sunday when the man of God located me and gave me that prophecy, I no longer see him. There is peace in my home now. And I respect my husband. I see him as that lovely husband I married. You listen to that? You listen to that? There's, you have spiritual husband. You need deliverance. Da, 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 and I stretch my hand. You saw the way he... It manifests. It manifests. So since that time, it has not been seen. There are different ways God can just get you out of this deliverance. God may choose to take you to wise men. And when I meet you, when I know you need to see wise men, you see wise men. If you don't need, I will deliver you there. I will deliver you there. Uh -huh. If it is wise men, but depend on your approach. When I'm talking to you and I see that you are settled, I would attend to you and I'll finish your job there. But some, you can see the way they are not there. You ask them the question, they will not be able to talk. Okay, wait for wise men, which I know if wise men touch you, you will be talking, you will not be able to re resist what you are saying. If you are proud, and you, you say, no, I don't want camera, I don't want camera. When they touch you, you want camera. <laughs> and remember, the two questions, when there's a question, when you are not ready for deliverance, that is a different thing. Even you are not ready, that is a different thing. And when we are not ready for deliverance, it's you that is, not re that, that is not ready. You that is not ready. You know, there is you that are two nations. Mr. T.B. Joshua, Prophet T.B. Joshua. If Mr. T.B. Joshua say, I'm ready for deliverance, who I am to, con to, to, to control the prophet? It is the prophet that controls. So, so since that you have not been seeing this man coming to torment you yes I have not seen him again and those days the spiritual husband was disturbing me my husband does everything to please me but I am not pleased he cooks for me, he washes the clothes he does everything even my colleagues in the office were jealous but I didn't have affection for him I kept planning that I was going to run away one day do you listen to that? But after the prophecy. Do you listen to that? She said, why, what this evil, uh, spiritual husband has destroyed her life. Now even the husband has done everything. There is nothing. Even the husband trying to do the work of woman, washing, helping, cooking, everything. He said, yes, still, the affection is not there. And he, she was planned to, to, run, to leave the house. And the colleague out there was jealous. He said, ah, you have a husband that's so caring, so nice, so good. So what do I say again? Do you want from this man? See, yes, say no. I want to leave the house. So it's a, let's listen. Let's listen. It's a lesson to every one of us. Please. Those days when the spiritual husband was disturbing me, my husband does everything to please me, but I was not pleased. Even my colleagues in the office they jealous me. 
sometimes the guys that will come and you marry to an angel. I don't feel the compliment is even annoying me. I kept planning that one day I was going to run out of the house. You listen to that? What we are saying now, it happened to at least 70% of the house. 70%. Even people that are not here, all over the world. But as they are listening to this, now they cannot see where their problem comes from. This, this, this channel is a mirror. When you sit down and watch, you begin to say, oh, yes. Uh -huh. I said it. I said it. I've done everything to this man. I've done everything to this woman, yet she refused to love me. Okay. Okay. Mm. Mm. Let's hear from our brother. Emmanuel. People of God, praise the Lord. My name is uh, Pastor Charles Anuma. And the wife standing beside me is my lovely wife, Pastor Mrs. Marianne Charles. Last week, Sunday, we came to Synagogue Church of All Nation. Though before now, I love Emmanuel TV. I have it in my house. My neighbors, people always come to my house to watch Emmanuel TV. I desire Emmanuel TV. To be specific, there was a, a certain month that he always appears on my phone. He appears, I can be walking like this, he will appear. And each time he appears, if I go out that day, it's for good. But uh, Prophet C.B. Joshua, he appears on my phone, just like that, at least twice a week, or thrice a week. So when we, come, when we came here last Sunday, the man of God walked to my wife, and a matter of fact, the prophecy he gave to her was the truth. Immediately, I couldn't waste time because I was watching on the screen. She was behind me. Immediately, I walked towards that direction. I confirmed. I said, she's my wife. And he turned to me and said, yes, that particular spirit husband has caused me low sperm count. And there's a result. I said, yes, man of God. I shouted because we went to the hospital. They confirmed me low sperm count, precisely 15%. So I confirmed. So, and I discovered that. This spirit husband that was disturbing my wife before has really destroyed my marriage. As a matter of fact, as you see me standing here, I cook for my wife. I wash her clothes. I go to the market. I do everything for her just to please her. Because when I met my wife, I love her. We got there, I love her. My parents even came to the marriage. But as I'm talking to you, when that spirit husband was disturbing my wife, they, they concluded my, both my maternal home and my paternal home. They said, my wife has given me something that she's ruling me. In short, they abused me. They say, I, they say, your family say what? They said, uh, my wife caught me with something. He used charm to... Okay, he, he has uh, meat, uh, milk and uh, yes, co coconut. Something <laughs> to eat. That is why I am behaving so, so foolish. What do you say you, you have done to please this woman in the past? I cook for her as a you matter of fact. I listen, wash her clothes. You listen to that? He cook, he wash... Uh -huh. I go to the market. You go went to the market. And the woman will sit down and put leg on the table. <laughs> but yet. But yet, nothing. nothing. Even in my ministry. In, the, in my ministry. Okay, how does that affect your ministry? Let's say, as a pastor. Before when that spirit was stopping my wife, my wife left the church for one year and she was not worshipping with me. In short, everybody in the church... When she did not come to your church, did you go to another church? No. Okay. I didn't, I was, I keep on pleading with her. Every time we sleep in the morning, Sunday morning we wake, I'll plead with her, mommy, please. Come to me. How will people look at me? I'm always in the altar preaching and you are not there. People don't regard me. In short, she, she, she fights with everybody in the church. Okay, you fight the member? Yes. Okay, let me ask the wife. We thank God because we are, we are rejoicing. You know, because we have, we, have got, we have won the war. That's why we are saying this. Not that we are making just or mockery the institution, but we are happy. You know, what else again? If God can give us a day like this, oh, we should be happy. So it's a lesson to every, every one of us. Uh, 
Yeah, madam. So you did not go to church, uh huh? I left the church because the spiritual husband was making me to behave abnormal. I was not happy with everybody in the church. Okay. And they suspended me, okay. and I left. Okay. You listen to that? She was not happy. She was, she was a different person. She left the church, and the husband was only one in the church. But sir, you, why your your wife did not come to church? You, you are in love seriously with your husband, your wife. Yes, I was in love. I, I married. I paid her price. She's my wife. I love her. I sure that a matter of fact, sometimes in that very church that she goes, there will be program there. She will invite me to go and minister there. I will go. You say what? That very church she was worshiping before. Uh -huh. And there, they will have a program there. My wife will come to her and tell her, Daddy, there's a program in this church. I will love you to come and minister. I will follow her. Why I, she did not come to your church? Yes. It does not come, but I will still follow her. Because of the love I have for her, I will follow her just to go and preach there. Just to make the people around there just respect her because I respect her too. And the uh, point of correction, after, after the testimony, I want to meet you. Your, the position your, peop, your people, your family actually took in the past. Don't blame them. Ordinarily, no family will be happy to see a house like that. Because the wife has turned you to Mumu. Mugu. Is it Mugu? <laughs> <laughs> so the family cannot be happy over this so now they have seen now that it's not ordinary I will meet you and I will talk to the family I want to join the family I want to congratulate them I don't want you to see them as they have done anything wrong ordinarily no one will see a matter like this and be happy so please take, take note of that after the testimony, I will talk about your family. I want to meet them. I want to invite them to congratulate them, to let them know that this is marriage from, from, from God. It's solely we are not taking the proper, you see, I mean, husband and wife, when you are not going through the deliverance and you just get married and you continue because things smooth, because there is money, there is position, there is this. No, no, because you have money does not mean that things is all right. Remember what the Bible said? It said the money I give you, not as the world gives. It means Satan too can give money. Take that that. The Bible said the position I gives you, not as the world gives. It means Satan too can give position. What are you talking about? The Bible says the fame, the popularity I give you, not as the world gives. It means Satan can also give the fame and popularity. You can be known all over the world, yet it's not from God. Are you talking of whatever possession in terms of house, in terms of this, in terms of that, in terms of wealth, whatever possession you have? The Bible says, the possession I give you, not as the world gives. You can have possession, big one, and you'll be no all over the world, and yet it's, it's not from God. Let me tell you, I was, when I was given some lecture some times ago, I was telling there are two points we should take note. God is always consigning about our beginning and our end. Beginning, how you start, and how you end is so much concern about it. Because that glorifies his name so much. So this is why when you are riding through, 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 and you are on the journey to the glory. Keep pressing the Lord. Because the, the first can be the last, and the last can be what? If God 
give you this, whatever God gives you, take note. The beginning of your journey for of journey with that thing and the end of your journey with that thing, God is waiting there. But from beginning to the end, middle, your journey from beginning to the end, middle there, you will face persecution and all of that. You have role to play. It's like a God take all the role from beginning. In the at the beginning. And God will also take the whole portion of assignment the, at the end. But from beginning to the end, the middle, you have a role to play to make it there. Okay, this is the gift of God given to me. I started here. God gave, God gave it to me. I receive it. Here, it's like a God himself is the one that will do the whole job here. At day one of the journey. God will take it up. I would not even have any role to play here. But by the time I start the journey now, I have role 50-50 to play now. To play. This is where I'm going. I have role to play. Persecution, hatred, and all. I have role to play. I have role to play. The end here, God will take all the job. You will not even take any 50-50. It will not be 50-50 assignment. It will be 100% God. Beginning 100%. From here to that place, here, here, journey, 50-50 road. Time is not on our side. Maybe next meeting I will explain. I will explain to you. I will explain. This is why you see people falling. People being destroyed. It's true. You can be called by God and at the same time end but I mean, not get there. So, my, my, my brother, well, we want to congratulate you. And uh, I'm seeing a baby girl by you people. Thank you, Jesus. Mm, a baby girl. And I bless you, honey. Mm. Thank you, Father. Thank I'm, seeing, you. I'm seeing a baby girl. I'm seeing the baby girl. I'm seeing the baby girl. Mm, and I'm going to meet you people immediately after the testimony. Thank you, thank you. What message do you have for the whole world? You have just a second. Just one second. As a matter of fact, a man of God, after the prophecy on Sunday, my wife has changed tremendously. She loves me now. That spirit of anger has gone. Mm. Now she, I mean, even when we sleep now, it's as if she should just take me inside her. She is very free with me now. At least everything that was happening before, I see a lot of changes now. I'm even more excited. And, uh, and uh, you can see that passion, the, the affection is there now. Yes, the affection. I mean, if she has her way, she will just take me inside her. She will just take me because she, even with sleep, she does not even, if I want to touch, she will want me beside her. But now? Now, that is, that is to say, after the deliverance. But before, uh, everybody on your on your own. So go so, sleep so, this side. So, sleep so side. that that means after the service, I will allow you to go home immediately. Uh, immediately. So we we'll finish service early, so that they can go home. <laughs> wow! You listen to that, my my sister. See your husband, just wedding. See your husband now. See, see your husband. Hey. So much. Huh? Mouth to mouth. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Let's watch the video again. Let's watch the video so we can have a lesson to learn. Let's watch the video. I'm going to give you a copy of your video for testimony when you are coming with your baby girl. You have a spiritual husband. It's true. Eh? It's true. And it's a child man. For you to know how serious the case, they could not sit together. The, the wife will sit here, and the husband will find a place to sit. It's like that. 
And for how many years now? You people have been in this set. Eight years. Ten years. Eight years. Eight years. They are being like that. The wife was sit. Look at the way. The wife was sitting separated. The husband was sitting. It was when I was talking, the husband had the girl to come. Because you know pastor is there. If not, the woman can carry him and but today we thank God. Let's 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 watch the video. Let's watch. Come. You have a spiritual husband. It's true. Eh? It's true. And it's a giant man. It's true. It has destroyed your home, your marriage. It's true, it's true. I've been married for eight years now, no child. Don't worry. Come on. It's your wife. Yes. It has resorted to the local spam. Yes, yes, my Because there's a medical report. Yes, man of God. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to wait for me. Can you just put the whole thing together? It's not up to a, a, a minute. Imagine you allow me to talk to you for one, one minute, one, one minute, and we attend the, the whole church. But the situation now, because of of uh, our unbelief, our little faith. I will talk to you if when I'm asking you a question to even answer me. And I want to help. I want to make sure you get it right to answer me. And if you don't answer me the question, I cannot go beyond that. Ask you, oh, uh, where is your brother? Is he the one in London? <laughs> or the last one you are asking? Can you imagine that? So please, one minute. Look at the whole thing. My one minute. And that one minute testimony. So please thank you because we want to start it now. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I want to meet them, remember the family. I want to talk about the family. And at the same time, the testimony, I want to give you the video, case. I want to introduce you to the wise men to follow it up. So that you come for testimony, I say. And now we also have to pray together and ask God, and ask God concern your calling. And there's need to ask God, Pastor. The wife is a pastor. The husband is a pastor. We need to ask God concern your calling, because yes. So now, and if God actually call us, what is which office God given to you? Are you a secretary? Or you are a manager, or you are a, mm -mm, or you are this, or you are a, a market manager, or accountant, or you must have office. But today in our ministry, men of God, we don't know our office. Once we say God call us, we do our job. If you come to me, hey, this day, day, hey, we must have an office. And if you don't know your office and you are called and you don't recognize your office, you are not limit your job to your office. You mess up the whole thing. The call of God is like a company where if it is a company, you have a accountant, you have a secretary, you have a market manager, you have this, you have that, you have that. Everybody has his own job. And you go to the office, you go there and do the job. If God wants to give you more responsibility, He will let you know. And we can give you, at the same time, you can be this, you can be that, and have three gifts or four together. But at the beginning, it's not possible to have all. You are called to take your portion. But the challenge we are facing today, this is why we condemn ourselves, we criticize ourselves. We pastor will stand in the church and begin to say, that church is not good, this is devil, this is demon. I mean, because we don't know our office. If you know your office is to cancel, you cancel. If your office is to minister the word of God and the, the anointing is on it, go ahead. But when you now see a man doing this and you are not called to that office, you begin to condemn the man or you force yourself to do what he's doing. So this is the challenge we are facing today. When, you, when God calls us, he gave us a, our, our office. And because of envy and jealousy, we want to take over the whole, we want to do everything. We want, no, you mess up everything. Where God guides, He pro provides, He guides, He protects. 
when he gives you an offer, he will protect you with that offer. And he will give you your daily bread. And he will supply you all your needs. But if you now begin to look into another office, hey, this man will have lot to do this, I will have to do that, and you, leave, you are not leaving your job to what God gave it to you. You mess up, up Satan, this is where Satan you, what Satan normally you, to attack men of God. If God call me, TV Joshua, I call you, go and minister and heal people. That's all. If I now see somebody who is prophesying there, and I now look at it, ah, prophecy. I now want to do the prophecy job because I'm seeing the another man doing it. Satan will now, because God is not coming to that office, Satan will now use that office to enter me. When I'm prophesying, Satan will enter to get me because I'm not given the key to do so. If God gave me the key to do so, he will protect me all around, and Satan will not be able to enter. What God gave to me, he protect me, he cover me with the blood, and no Satan can even near. But if God is not giving me that job to do, and I go into it, Satan is free to attack, and he will successfully attack and attack you. And that is where the challenge we are facing today. So thank you. I will meet you. My pastor, thank you very much. Pour entendre la confirmation là, de la prophétie de ce couple qui sont des pasteurs. Elle avait effectivement un mari de nuit. Le mari essayait de tout faire pour lui plaire dans la maison, même cuisiner, aller au marché. Mais rien ne faisait. Mais aujourd'hui, il rend toute la gloire à Dieu après sa délivrance. Est-ce que. Yes. Prophet T.B. Joshua ministered prayer and prophecy to the synagogue. Um, I, we just want you to see the pattern, the approach the approach so that when the minister the, the, the Holy Spirit carry the man of God to do the job now you know I've seen this this is how to go about it because what we are doing now is very new we are not used to prophet but we are used to pastor evangelist we are not used to what we are not used to prophet because imagine a man will be telling you what you have done at home what is inside your stomach? What will happen next? You begin to look at them and say, you're a human being. How can you be telling me all this? Imagine, just look down and say, oh, wow, how can this happen? So we are not used to prophet, but we are used to evangelist, pastor, and all that. So therefore, if one day, when this has happened, it becomes so, you begin to say, what is happening? I mean, can this, I mean, we don't actually understand. Some resort to criticism, condemnation, and while some see it so huge, so too much to, to, to accept. So this is why we have to, God keep giving us testimony, you can see by yourself. Thank you. Joshua ministered prayer and prophecy to the Synagogue Church of All Nations congregation, telling people their past, present, and future, and exposing their hidden agenda, plan, and intrigues of the devil in their lives. As he moved, he prays for this woman and asks her to wait before moving on. Let's watch what later happened as the man of God continued to minister under the influence of the Holy Spirit. This is court case. Yes. Eh? Yes. He's my husband. That is why we are here. <coughs> see me. Oh. See, you, you see what happened? I think this happened yesterday. A woman I touched. I want to I was waiting for to God to, to speak through me to her. I, I could not hear anything. But the only thing I hear I should ask her to wait. I said, Madam, wait. Why I was continuing, continuing? The second row, third row, I touch a man there. I said, this is court case. He said, yes. The woman I asked to wait, just come forward and say, ah, it's my husband. This is why we are here. I can now say the reason why God asked her to wait. <laughs> if I'm talking to you, let me see your hand. First row, I touch a woman. I was expecting, God actually led me to the woman to touch. After touching, as usual, 
I will hear the voice from my heart. We hear God's voice in our heart, not in our ear. Because today, we see many of our people who say, God, what are you saying? <laughs> God, I can't hear you. <laughs> God, there's too much noise here. <laughs> well, <laughs> mm, Father, mm, that will be the name. Mm. No. Our heart is the communication point. Our world is our world. Open the book of Romans 9 verse 1. I tell you, I tell the truth in Christ, I'm not lying. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Spirit. Are you there? Our heart, faith is not of man's mind. Faith is not of man's flesh. Faith is of man's what? Spirit. Man's heart. Faith. The faith. F-A-I-T-H. Is not of man's flesh, man's body. But of man's spirit, man's heart. Faith. So, uh, what we are saying, listen. So, now, when I was touching, I, was, I touched the woman, I was expected to hear the, the message, as usual, which is normal. But instead of hearing something, the next thing, God said, ask her to wait. The boy said, ask her to wait. I said, Madam, wait here. I'm a servant. I keep touching, touching, touching. The second, I said, Madam, please wait, don't go yet. Because she was going, I said, wait, don't go yet. On getting to the second, third row, I turned to people, I, I brought a man out, I said, this is court case. Before you know it, the woman, they say, hey, this is why we are here, this is my husband. Uh, I can see the reason why God has you to wait. So let's watch again. So this is, this is what we call prophetic ministry, apostolic, say apostolic, apostolic, apostolic. apostolic. this Bible were, the men were carried along by the Holy Spirit as they wrote, as they spoke the word that came from God. So, if you want to read, you must also be carried along by the Holy Spirit. If not, you are reading history. If not, you are reading what? If not, you are reading what? If you are not carried along while reading by the Holy Spirit, if you are not carried along by the Holy Spirit, you are reading mere history. You are reading mere event. What is the event here? Elijah, Elijah, John the Baptist, Jesus was born in the Bethlehem, the, the danger, and uh, so the father is Joseph, and the mother is Mary. These are the story. And this is not the story we are asked to read. And this, that story cannot bring transformation, cannot change us. It can only educate us. of God, men were carried along by the Holy Spirit as they spoke, as they wrote. 
this book. If you two must read, uh, I must be carried along, but we talk about that next week. How can we be carried along? So that we will not continue to read even history about John. So let's 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 watch. Let's watch. Vamos a ver la profecía. David Joshua ministered prayer and prophecy to the synagogue church of our nation's congregation, telling people their past, present, and future, and exposing the hidden agenda, plan, and intrigues of the devil in their lives. As he moved, he prays for this woman and asks her to wait before moving on. Let's watch what later happened as the man of God continued to minister under the influence of the Holy Spirit. This is court case. Yes. Huh? Yes. He's my husband. That is why we are here. <coughs> Samuel. Samuel, when the Holy Spirit called the woman out, I said, wait. Now, that is the, the letter from court is the one they are going inside the bag. Take it back. Let's go inside the bag to bring. Take it back again. Let's see where, when they are going to the bag. Uh -huh. Simeo, Simeo, when the Holy Spirit called the woman out, I said, wait. Now I went to the husband again and said, this is a court case. The wife said, it's my husband, that is why we are here. Man of God, this is court paper. Uh, this is a court case. Clap for Jesus Christ. So, that's it. They are here. Can we see them because of time? Because remember, we are, we are going too far because of time. And so, there's need for me. God wants me to do more than yesterday. So, so that, thank you. La prophétie de ce couple a dit au mari qu'il voit un cas au tribunal, la coupe mixte de ils avaient le papier pour confirmer. Escuchamos la prophétie, dijo que hay un caso en el corte. We have just 30 minutes so, so that I will listen to them because of time. Mm -hmm. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. My name is uh, Dikin uh, Godwin Onos Ok. And the woman standing behind, beside me is Dickness Franca Onos Oke. These are my children. This is uh, Eno Oke. This is uh, the senior girl, Kere. This is the last born, uh, Nice. And this is my senior son, Ovie Oke. I am a, a chartered accountant by profession. I'm a, I also do, I'm a part-time lecturer and I'm a, I'm a businessman too. I'm a Dickin. I'm a Dickin uh, winners. So uh, yesterday, as uh, the man of God was ministering, he came. We were sitting by the right hand, and uh, immediately he got to where my wife was. Sit was uh, was he called my wife and uh, prayed for her and asked my wife to stand. That he if uh, he asked my wife to stand and to wait. Why? He left, immediately he left my wife, started praying for other people, prophesying for, uh, to them. He came to where I was, I was uh, seated, and then heard my hand and said, stand up. And I stood up. And immediately he said, there's a court case. Of course, there is a court case. I actually gave my wife a divorce later, uh, last uh, month. We've been married for 17 years. But the woman, my wife is always angry. Any little thing, she's angry. Any little thing. There's nothing you do to please her. And in fact, because of that, sometimes I don't even, I, I occasionally just, you know, just uh, travel out. Maybe I will just travel to Asaba and stay for maybe one week. Maybe I travel, I just make a, a journey because I don't want to quarrel. Because each time we, we, we angry, and when, he's ang when she's angry, she can talk for three hours, four hours, and she doesn't for, forgive. Anything you do ten years ago, she will repeat it. Today, praise the Lord, and then because of that, if I had, and even if she, if she offend you, she will not tell you sorry. She will never come and beg you. Even when you tell her if this matter is okay, she will repeat it, and she is always suspicious. If you see you with somebody, you are always doing like this. You are always doing like this. So I got fed up, and then I, I, the, the, the character and behavior. I thought I'm not. Since we married for 70 years, it has been 
ups and downs. It has been fighting, it has been quarreling, it has been... Okay, so the, the letter was a sack letter. Yes. That it should leave the house. Yes, man of God. Okay, is the, mo is the mother of those children? Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's see the children closely. Where is the camera? Who is the... Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay, can we, madam, can you please tell us why you disturb the chartered accountant like this? <laughs> the madam to explain. Why do you disturb, why should you disturb the, the, our chartered accountant? Eh? Why now? And you know this account of tea, if they don't have rest or peace, they can miscalculate it. <laughs> okay, madam, explain. Thank you. Emmanuel. My name is Frank Awuke. The man standing beside me is my husband. These are my children. The problem that brought us to Synagogue Church of All Nation is uh, my husband gave me a divorce letter. Yesterday when the man of God was prophesying, he called my husband and said this is a court case. Immediately I now rushed out to confirm the prophecy to be true. And let me use this word. It's an added to humanizer. He hardly come to the house early. He do come to the house late. He traveled to Asaba even without business appointment. He claimed to be doing... And I, and I will not allow you to, to, to say much. I will not allow you to say much. Uh, 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 Madam, in, in a nutshell, you are not happy. Yes, sir. With our, our father, Abi? Yes, sir. Okay. And there are so many proofs. Not because he gave me a divorce letter. But several occasions when I on my own to find, ask myself, why is this man behaving like this? Is it every time I'm wrong? If I go to his room, I will see condom, uh, drugs, and a franny by name, uh, 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 cream. Uh, 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 those, uh, 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 <laughs> Okay. Now, the question now, simple. Look, let me ask you. It's all right, it's all right. Let me talk. The question that we want to know God's opinion about this marriage. Eh? God can arrange broken things. God is there to do all? Yes. Broken home. The question now. We want to know God's opinion about this marriage. You know, I move around and look, imagine exact problem you, you people brought here. And you people were not sitting together. Their case looked like the first man that I met the other wife. I said, hey, you have spiritual wife, husband. And the man, woman was delivered. And today, and already the woman was ready, has prepared her thing, want to leave the house. In the same case, now I was moving around and I saw your wife and moved down and I see your husband. I said, This is a court case. And immediately we went to the bar to bring the letter. That is exactly why you people are here. And I want to really, I want to thank our father here. What what you are saying about my 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 brother, look. There's something you cannot rule out. For him to come to the presence of God and determine to know God's opinion without... It, 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 it is true he has a, a court letter, a sack letter that he wants to give you, but he still come to the presence. And even following you here, he's not supposed to follow you. With the level of that sack letter, I think everybody will have come here separately. If I'm talking, let's see your hand. I, I, that is it. Come in separately because the letter has been, I mean, issued. But you still follow you here with the children. That is to tell you that, look, this man is a man of integrity. I want to salute you. I want to salute the man. He has given sack. If you know, you know, you know what it means to give a court a letter, sack letter. You don't have anything. You cannot move with the woman again. But you still come with the children and know you are here and you are sitting in front and you sit at the bar and the letter is there. You still want to know God's opinion. 
That is to show, tell you that, look, is a man that have the fear of God. So, I, the, the same God that showed me this revelation is the same God that wants to let you people know that I will personally, after the wise men have finished the deliverance, personally on my own, I want to join the family because this is a God's family. Yeah. My brother, and I will prove to you, this woman you are seeing, I mean, you, after the prayer and everything I'm saying, you, you know the, the, the potential in her. Uh, I mean, I, I want you to do this, uh, the letter. Uh, you know God is greater than this letter. That is why you're here. And whatever God says is final. That's why you're here. So I really want to salute you. This is God's marriage. This is marriage. This marriage is from God. So I want to join you. And I want to thank you very much. Can you see a wave hand? And my sister have no wave hand at all. <laughs> huh? To confirm what my brother was saying. Uh, you know, my brother was saying, 100 years, he will not forgive you. Uh, he will not forgive you. You can talk to him for 10 years. Uh -huh. well, it's not wave hand. Wave hand, my sister. Wave hand. Uh, two hand, two hand. Uh -huh. Please. I want to join this family and I want to prove to you that this is God's marriage. Satan is a liar. Satan is a liar. All the intrigues and strategy of Satan is full today. So please, I want to, I really want to give a hug to the children. Not you, husband and wife, but how are you? How are you, what's your name? Nice. Oh, what wonderful. Okay. How are you? So thank you. Thank you. I want to meet you people, please. You. I will host them. I don't know where they stay. Maybe they lodge. I will have to give them a place to stay so that I will have time to talk to them today. So please give them a private accommodation after the, after the service. So thank you. So that, that letter, that, that uh, sac uh, letter, divorce letter, uh, I mean, after they see the receipt, why after after the prayer they will see receipt to say thank you, more thank you. The already husband have started say thank you, Jesus. Don't rule that one out. But after everything, he will he will say it louder. So thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hemos escuchado el caso de esta familia que reconciliados después. And uh, yes. Mm. Everyone need deliverance. Yes, deliverance is all we need. This is the work of Satan. Satan is trying to separate the marriage. Satan is a liar. He will bring some funny thing. Just funny thing. Satan. So glory be to God. Can you see where you are? This is a ministry of reconciliation. Reconcile home. How many homes you have seen reconcile now? How many? This is two. We have attended to two. The first marriage year, the woman will have left. But after the deliverance, he said the thing has gone. He loved the man. That's a reconciliation. See this one already. Divorce letter. They, they, I mean, look at the children. Almost five children. Where would they go? They will start again. Can you see Satan? These children will start again without more than one. But the Lord has bring them together. So let's have one more. So I think the time, please. How are you? Where is your child? My son. He's in, a, he's in my house in Enugu. <laughs> eh? I don't know you. Maybe they know you. I don't know you. <laughs> don't mind them, please. Salvation is personal. If the people are there, hey, I will not talk to you again. Come, come, come and wait for me. Because uh, that, uh, whoo, you are beginning to change. So I will see you one on one, don't worry. Okay, so, 
you, you, you have seen what happened? I think it's one of our sisters when I was moving around, you know. Uh, I was just talking to a woman here. The next thing I hear the church, hey! I say, is it tiger that entered the church? What happened? The next thing is, hey, hey, maybe the woman that I used to see in the, uh, one of the actress, female actress. I said, wow. If that is the case, I'm sorry. Okay, go and wait for me. I will talk to you. But the only thing I could say, your son and you. So, where? Your son. Where is that child? He was telling where the child is. And I said, I wanted to pray. Pray with him. Pray with her immediately. I said, where is your son? And I, oh, I said, okay, well, I will not go that. Please go and wait for me. If they don't allow me to do that, a vice mayor will do it. So glory be to God, the whole thing is over today. And, uh, and uh, you see, I keep educating the world about this deliverance. When you listen to what people confessing, you will know that you need deliverance. When you listen to what they are saying, you will not make jest of anyone that's been delivered. Because you will know what these people are saying. If 10 people confess, one of them will say exact situation you are facing. But why are you now beginning to look at them and say, hey, I mean, he said, oh, praise God and thank God for their life. And ask God, or oh, share me to this deliverance. And let me get free. It's not something that is it's bondage. We call it bondage. God never gave us the spirit of bondage. So when you see someone that gets into that, you congratulate God, says, Oh God, thank you, Lord. I'm waiting for mine one day. This is why we keep coming here. They can touch you. Wise men may touch you for hundred days, you may not get that result. But one day. It's a matter of heart when you are ready okay there are thousands of people that are ready here it is not possible for god to abandon those who are ready and begin to attend to those who are not ready there are people here that are ready there are people here that have been fasting and praying crying as i'm talking to them i cry now that i must get over this day today it's not possible for god god is god of justice and abandon those who are ready and now begin to attend to those who are not ready. There are some people when they come to them, you see them. Mm, mm, they are not ready. So leave them until you are ready. It's a matter of you are ready. 50-50. I have told you beginning and the end. God is so much concerned about this. This is our deliverance of issue. You have role to play. 50-50. And when you are ready, the job is half done. Tell your neighbor. Tell your neighbor. I can hear you. I can hear you. Yes. When you are ready, the job is half done. Yes, you are here, I'm here, I'm ready. What do you mean by I'm ready? Faith starts from where? The Christianity starts from where? Charity begins from where? Oh, it's not here you will begin to have faith. Ah, but what is happening here, I will receive my own. Oh, but not from home, but here. Ah, I've seen, oh, oh, before I enter here, I, I thought, it's a game, but I can see it's real here. I know you will still go home and come back. You have to receive real from home. Tell your neighbor, you must see the, receive it real from home. Mm, not here, you come see it real. <laughs> so that is issue of faith. Because God has given us this for salvation of our soul. For salvation of our soul, and once you have the salvation, you will be able to maintain whatever God gave to you. The other meaning for salvation is maintenance. Power of war. 
you'll be able to maintain whatever given to you. No matter the attack, no matter what comes, you maintain it. God given to you. Look at our life today. What is happening? Uh, everything God has given to you, you lack, you, you fail to maintain them. So, okay, let's let's watch. Let's say our mom. Everybody need deliverance. Tell your neighbor. Yes. It is not normal the way your life is going. Tell your neighbor. It is not normal. The way my life is going. There is no single person here that will say I'm pleased with my life. That will say, look at this church as big as this church. We say, look, I'm total, totally pleased. Everything may be fine, but hurt why? Hurt why? You know you are. A, you are a head, not tail. Thank Paul. What can separate me from the love of God? Can sickness? Can hardship? Hatred? Affliction, limitation, no and no. That is why we are here today. What could separate me from the love of Christ? Can affliction, can hatred, setback, nothing and nothing can separate me from the love of God. That is why I'm here. So, because of all these challenges you are facing, these are the things that are pointing to, the, to those. They are from pit of hair. That constant challenges. That, that. They are from pit of hair. Listen to Paul. The tongue in my flesh proceed from the pit of hell and it's an apostle of God and something from the pit of hell is what? demon go about our Christian life and the way we go about everything today as if once you are a Christian you can never be sick and when you are sick you have committed sin that is the platform we have today for the Christian because that sin people measure many Christians are sick today or they will not tell anybody until they are unable to walk. You see them like this? That is when they will begin to call their colleague, their friend, everybody that I'm sick, that the situation becoming worse. But when that sickness is in the elementary stage, they keep it because their pastor say 
sin as a result of sickness as a result of sin and they don't want them to say they are committed sin people dying today a man can be sick and yet be a friend of God tell your devil tell your devil a man may be sick and yet be a friend of God a man can be poor and yet be a friend of God yeah a man can be poor can be saved in body yet a candidate a favorite of God because why because faith is of man spirit and sickness is of man flesh so let's listen so i the war at last ignorantly the way they go about issue things of the spirit many have been afflicted because of their, their their mouth their tongue when you see people being delivered instead of say, you instead of listen to what he or she is saying and pick your own lesson and check yourself whether you need to come for deliverance or not you have now begun to backsidize criticizing twist the story upside down label the person as is evil and evil is not our sister it's not our brother evil is spirit being tell your neighbor evil it's not my wife, it's not my husband, it's not my brother, it's not my neighbor, it's not my colleague. Evil is a spirit being. We are not fighting our sister, we are not fighting our brother, we are not fighting our cousin, our husband. No! We are fighting the spirit being. It's not person that talking. It's, the, it's not the appearance we are seeing that is demon. The demon we are talking about is not the person you are seeing, it's not your sister, it's not your neighbor, it's not your... But spirit being, without flesh, without water. We are fighting on battle. When you begin to accuse your brother, your sister as demon, because you hear talking. When somebody is talking, it's not him, him or her that is talking. There are beings that are talking through her. There's, there's a resistance. That is why they begin to say, I will not allow her. I will not allow him. And him is he. He will say, I will not allow him. Some will say he's a man. He will say, I'm the husband. I'm the whole wife. And he's a man that is standing. But he will say, I'm the husband. That shows that the being in him is what? Is, is what? Is why is a man, and he say is my husband. The being in him is a woman. Is being. So this is the most delicate thing. When somebody talk and is confessing, talking, and you are not using that confession against him or her, you should respect yours very soon. So let's listen. Nous avons vu la vidéo de cette actrice hein, qui avait reçu une parole prophétique concernant son fils. Let's listen to our sister. Don't bother, bother. We have seen it in the past. 
Dans le site de Livros en direct, non, on l'écoutait directement, restait connecté. Alors, on va nous écouter à cette mère, cette actrice, recevait une prophétie sur de son fils, aussi une libération du pouvoir du Saint-Esprit. On va nous écouter comment tout se passe et confirmant la prophétie. Just, just measure how the, the whole thing affects you, that's all. Don't go back to what the Lord has done. Just tell me how those things affect your career in the past, so that your son will be the one to come and, I mean, we listen to his, his deliverance. Okay. Um, the, your, son, am... the, your son I mentioned, When I, I met you, I say, where is your son? So I, the reason why I mentioned your son, that will be plain. He will be the one to, to talk. Just tell us how those things are affecting your life in the past, so that people could learn. Simple. Okay. I am Mrs. Camila Omnibo Ni Mberekbe. Um, I'm an Hollywood actress. I've been acting for 29 years. I'm a senior artist in our film industry. Um, this is my son. And the one standing next to him is my younger brother, second to the last, because I came from a family of nine. He's a, a pastor. He has a ministry in Badagri. That one there is my younger sister's son. Um, <clears throat> I came to, um, to Synagogue Church of All Nations. I came to Synagogue Church of All Nations for myself and my God to remove that mountain that was a problem in my life. The God of TB Joshua and the mountain has vanished. Thank you. Let's let's uh, the son I was I think it's enough for your your case. We thank God for what God has done for you. Because if not this deliverance, well I think what I was seeing, because I'm just seeing her after the deliverance because I was not around, I travel and I, I travel outside Nigeria. So I'm, I'm just seeing her after the deliverance. If not that deliverance, I think uh, your enemy was, was, was prepared to take, up, to take away your life. That is it. But God, has, it is canceled and you are delivered. Because where you have to know what I'm talking about, after your deliverance, you, you begin to see, it, I mean, many things happen around you. So many things happen that will have been, that will have been, I mean, I mean, so they want to take your life, so but God has saved your life and protect you. So now, <laughs> I mean, God has added more to your life. Your lifespan is very long. It's, your course is enlarged. So that's, that's it. That's it about that. Thank you. So your son, I was asking that day, I said, you, I wanted to attend to you. I was... I was attempt to do that deliverance myself. But when I hear a child everywhere, ah, I said, who is this woman? Everybody is shouting. I said, okay, oh, okay, go and wait. And I said, your son, because that also gave me so much concern. And you say it's at so, so where I said they should invite. I think that you have invited your son. I think they have. Yes. Okay, that's the son there. Yes. And he has gone through the deliverance. Ah. Uh... <laughs> It's in the process. Okay, okay. 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 If, if you have not gone through the deliverance, I think you should go through the deliverance because that is the reason why I ask, I, I, I ask your son because he needs deliverance. And it's, it's deliverance too, okay? So we thank God for everything, I think. Uh, so if he has not been delivered, they should wait. When he's finished, when they finish his deliverance, he will talk. That's all. He will be the one to talk for you, talk for everyone. Okay? So thank you. We thank God for your life. 
So what lesson do you want to send to the world? Let's hear your lesson. Um, I want to tell the whole world that um, when we discover, we recover. And we need to rebel to discover mm -hmm. and to recover. Yes, because um, 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 the, in, in, the, uh, in God's agenda, recovery and reign are twins. See, it, they, before, before recovery, there must be divine reign. The divine reign must fall. And if divine rain falls, the river will flow again in the desert. Fishes will be caught again. Crops will grow again. And there will be joy when there had been sorrow. There will be, there will be laughter when there had been weeping. The impossible becomes possible. Misery becomes miracles. The, you see? Uh -huh. you, 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 it's back to the stage. Uh, it's back to the stage. Hey, I forgot. Hey, I forgot. My, look, mother, I want to sit down with you. There are many things happen here which I'm going to... I'm going to give you the lessons to at it. Yes. Many things that happen here, which many things happen here, there are some of things that happen here, I'm, I will give you the lessons to organize a team yourself and begin to at it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because, you know, you people are acting not that really it is what you people read but this one is what happened what is happened if you take on on one or two issues that happen here and you add it and we give you release the cases for you and you begin to add it and show them what you are talking about you win many souls thank you jesus thank you jesus yes so i think Look, I want to tell the whole world, the, 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 the viewers all over the world, choose. The life of this woman has been rescued. This is a woman that Satan planned to terminate. You will have learned that the woman is gone if this deliverance has not taken place. Now, God has rescued her and is living. Why can't you join her and rejoice it? Instead of begin to turn the story around, turning the story around, if you want to write a story, why can't you write and thank God for saving her life? You two, you know what is happening in the industry. Oh, I'm, a, I'm as a prophet, I am too, I'm consigning, I'm so consigned about the, what is happening in the Nollywood industry. Little time you learn something happens, something happens with young, young people. It's not normal. These are the art, a, a, a star among them. You learn that this happened, that happened, that happened. I too, as a, as a prophet, that, that I don't know, I pray for them. So why all this should be happen to the Nollywood in Nigeria like this? Huh? So rejoice and thank God for saving our life today. So instead of taking your pen and begin to write story that is not glorified God, that there is no reward anywhere, give thanks to God for her life, for what God has done for her, for rescue her. <laughs> because the way you people go about it, you make other not to come out for, for the same blessing. You are making people frightened. Ah, no, you see the way they, they talk about that woman. Ah, no, I don't want to go. And what will you gain if people continue to lose their life? Or oh, people get sick? What will you gain about that? So, thank you, thank you. Um, what I'll tell my people out there, especially the actors and the actresses, I know some of you have the fear that if you come here, you're somersaults. There's nothing to be ashamed of. 
See, the source of your shame will be turned into a launching pad to your fame. Yes. If you come here, you, you, you get your salvation. Don't be afraid of anyone because God said, the Lord said, if you become, you are ashamed of me, on that day, I will be ashamed of you. So that's why I'm not ashamed to be here. I love, I love being here. I love everything I see. I love what's going on. Because like I said before, we have to be ready for the second, second coming of Christ. We have to, no matter in what profession we are. So come over. Forget about what your shame, your fear. Because we have to kill, see, you have to arrest that enemy that is called discouragement. I killed it. I strangled. That was why I came here. So you have to do the same. So you can get your salvation and be free to welcome our Lord Jesus Christ into your life. Thank you. Thank you. You will listen to that? You will listen to that? Yes, like I have said, the beginner is not the owner, but the finisher. Tell your neighbor. Again? Yes. Every time, take your time to think, I tell you, Joshua, my mind and my heart is only towards the end. How would the end look like? If the end is not speak well, it means oh, it's rubbish. And the history cannot remain. It is the end that makes the history of your life authentic. <laughs> Let's continue the good race. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Like I have said, you want to say well, give give what you want to say well. Yes, and I've always had this, this, this vision of starting a company of my own as um, a production company whereby uh, I'm producing uh, Christian films. And the criteria of being a member of this, of this production is that you have to be born again. And if you're not born again, you're not qualified and we have to get you born again. It has always been my ambition, but then um, I haven't had anyone to help me start it or sponsor me or something like that. So that's my mission. No, don't worry. If, if, I, if, if people are not born again before joining you, they can be born again after joining you. <laughs> so that should not be the... You should remove that code. That even... That your, your mission is for those who are not even born again so that you can make them born again. Because Christ came because of who? Not because of... So thank you. Okay, let me just sing this. Uh, it's a, a song of mine I have, you know. Okay. <clears throat> Jehovah is my refuge. He's my fame strong. You are everywhere. So surely I need not be afraid if the world blows up. If the mountains crumble, falling down to the sea, I'll recline in the tender palm of he who made the earth. He will never leave me, not forsake me. He will keep me going on. Jehovah will always steady me anytime I slip up on my feet. Get your stuff together. You're going on to a life thing. Because I listen to your problems. I take you on to where you're going to land. Thank you. you, you it, it, look, be, before you go, you preach here before you go. It, you, had, you, you started it. You started it because you better you if you must preach here before you leave here. You look for some just say something. Right now. Okay, um Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord <laughs> Praise the Living God Um My brothers and sisters listen to what I have to say. 
don't put me on. Don't I, I, I want us to celebrate good things. Uh -huh. I want us to celebrate love. I want us also to, to celebrate truth. Because if you love truth, truth will come to you. Mm -hmm. And if you love lies, you will always receive lies. And in your life, lies will become a manifestation, a reflection of your life. Thank you. Thank you for her. <laughs> I, will, I, will give you, I will give you time to read your Bible well. <laughs> A baby Christian. <laughs> thank you, thank you. My, my brother, I will find time to see you. Thank you for coming here, Pastor, your brother. And uh, thank you, thank you very much. And uh, after the, the service, I want to meet the family. And uh, I think my brother too is going through the land that he will finish his deliverance today. Okay, thank you very much. Let him give you a handshake. Pastor, thank you for coming here. Come here, thank you, thank you. You wait for me. I want to meet you. Thank you, thank you. Please, thank you. Yes, because of time, I think uh, the rest they should hold on. So please. So the rest should hold on and let's go to the action. We are still on. Right time. Right, so, right, so let's worship him. Just a little. 